What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. If you're new here, please make sure you do subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. This week, we have a buy and we have a couple days off. So I thought I'd bring you guys along, show you guys what I am getting up to this buy weekend. Not heading away, hanging around town, got a few things on like golf, dinner with the missus, and I'm actually going to jump in a car because the v8s are in town in townsville which is a pretty big event so we'll bring you guys along the next couple days should be a belter like i said if you enjoy the content please make sure you subscribe i really do appreciate it and make sure you check out playersgolfclub.com.au for all of your merch you can check the link is in the description below go on grab yourself a hat polo t-shirt and yeah let's go get into it i need handicap for today and what you want to score today Actually playing off 21 today, um, but yeah, I didn't start too bad there, bogey. Um, but oh, I do want 36 points there. So I want it. And over here, to, uh, give me handicap for the day and what you want to score today. Handicap today is 15. We're off the blues, so I think it's gone up a couple from the GA. And today I want 35, and I will fight for 35. <laughs> Today I am 12. We are off the blues here at Townsville, which adds a little bit of distance in the comp for the bye weekend. And I'm aiming, I want 36. I need 36. Have a go at this view right here on this par 3. Look at that. Have a go at the view of the salt in. Look at the salt in the background. Yeah, look at that. We've got Mount Stewart down there. Beautiful skis just getting the distance. Good day of golf. Great day. Alright, we've got 120 out. I'm going pitching wedge. This is a tough, tough green because you don't want to go over the back and I just want to try and hit the centre of the green. So what did you hit off the tee? Hit uh, hybrid off the tee, straight down the middle. Shot. We're dancing. What are you thinking? Um, 88 metres, I'm just going to go 54. In the door, half swing. Um, I'm gonna try and miss where your ball is actually just left of the pin. See how we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We're nine holes through. Give us a quick update. You want, up, you want an up update, do you? Quick update. So started all right. Chad started on fire. I finished with a triple and a double, so I've only got 16 points. As soon as he pulled the camera out, I butchered everything. <laughs> so I need to fight hard on this back night. Big Salty, give us an update. I'll just hold down some roast beef. Um, yeah, started pretty shocking. Come home all right, sitting on 17 points. Gotta keep up that form. Love roast that. beef in the belly, I'm fucking feeling good. <laughs> and your boy's on 22. Let's go, baby. That's absolutely pizzle down the middle. So That's it's on a string, but I just can't back it up, brother. <laughs> Chad's bread and butter. Short game of specialist. <laughs> Happy with it? Not really, but... Yeah, 50 feet for par. Yeah. Punished. Through, how are you All going? Right. So I've just topped my tee shot and I've got 215 out. Pin is tucked well down there behind the tree, so I'm gonna try and hit a... Points? What points are you on? Okay, I'm on 32 points, so I need to hit two here and two on the 18th after a horrendous back nine. Bogey, bogey to finish and he'll get his 36. Ooh. A little bit more right than I needed. How we end up, boys? Give us the rundown. Yeah. I wanted 36, didn't quite get there. Got 34, but so. Happy with it? Yeah, stoked actually, it's not too bad. <laughs> Big salty. <laughs> and you ski? 33, I wanted 35, so I wasn't far off, but some costly errors, which will probably haunt me and give me some nightmares for a couple of days, but it's 
close, man. That's golf. That's, That's golf. golf. Golf wins. Yeah, someone's for me, please. Alrighty. What's some tour pro shit on that, mate? To be fair. Thank you, sir. No worries, sir. All right, just got home from golf and finished up with 36 points. Pretty happy with that, but my two nines were completely different. I hit 22 on the front nine, I was three over par, and then I hit 14 on the back nine. So I hit nine over on the back, three over on the front, because I played off 12 today, off the blues at Townsville. So it was a great morning though. Jack and Griff both played well too, and now this afternoon, just about to have some lunch, and then I've got a massage this afternoon. Before some really cool stuff tomorrow, jumping into a car for the Townsville V8s. Okay, good morning. Today, it is Friday, and got a few things on today. Just dropped off Kyra to preschool this morning, and now gonna get a haircut. I need to get one bad. Yeah, get a haircut every two weeks, for those wondering. And then after that, this afternoon, I'm actually gonna jump in the V8 hot lap, because the Townsville car race, I don't know what it's called, is on this weekend. I don't know if it's a V8 car that we're getting in, but we're getting in a car and doing a hot lap, which should be a lot of fun. And then tonight, heading out for dinner with the missus. So, got a good little day. Just about to go and get a haircut now, get this cleaned up. All right, so I just finished up with the haircut. I have a go at it, really happy with it. And I've just picked up my little friend, one of my best friends. Myra, I've just picked up Myra. We're going to Lambert's to do some shopping, but first, I've actually got to- Going to the chicken shop. Yes, I've got to drop off these pair of Jordans. So when you join the Players Club, you get a chance to win these unreal prizes. Have a go at these Jordans. Whoa, those are cool, Dad. They are, aren't they? They're golf shoes. They're so very big. They're very big, yeah. They're for the winner when he signed up. Oh. So everyone needs to sign up to the Players Club to win cool stuff like that, we get you guys. All right, so let's go. All right, quick little update. I actually don't have enough time to go and drop the shoes off to the winner, so I've just messaged him and gonna have to reschedule. And- You have to drop the shoes off? Yeah, I don't have time anymore. Because I uh, gotta get home to get changed to get to the V8 track to jump in this car and do the hot lap. Can I come, Daddy? Oh, sorry, sweetheart. No, you can't come. Aww, Maybe why? another time. By the way, what do you think of these sunnies? See, I'm gonna reschedule that with uh, the prize winner. But head home, then head to the V8s. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's something I've never done before. Uh, jumped in one of these cars and gone around in a hot lap, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. Yeah, it's great. Uh, last year I got around it a little bit. Um, obviously the town, the community get really get behind their sport and um, what it does for you know our area up here in the north, people come a long way to watch this race. And um, like I said, it just creates a, a huge buzz in the town. And um, you know, it's great to see uh, the north, you know, hosting these these big events. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, our club's been with Toyota since 2003. It's the longest standing uh, relationship in 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 the sporting industry at the moment. So for us, you know, we really appreciate the support of Toyota, and um, I know it means a lot to to all of our players to have them involved. No, nah, like I've been, I've done, I've been on a couple of go karts as a young fella but no I've never been in a, in a race car and you know Craig Lowndes and all those guys but um, yeah it's exciting obviously it's, it's, it's a pretty big um, sport up here in the north and it attracts a lot of, a lot of big crowds so um, you know having, having it you know pretty close to our facilities is, um, is pretty exciting as well because when you hear the noise of the, of the engines it's um, yeah it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Tell us what we're doing. Well, we're here at the V8 tracks and we're going for a few hot laps. And, um, wish I was driving, but I'm not. A bit nervous, a bit excited. Are you going to fit in the cabin? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. The cars are about this tall. This will be interesting. Boys, ready to go.
Let's go. That was so much fun. So fun. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I'll do it again. I want to go on the V8. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zexy. Give me something. Give me something. We are just out for dinner, the two of us. Cheers. Good stuff. I'm just saying that I'm one of those loser runners when I need to cross the lights and I'm waiting for the lights. The, 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 I don't even know what they're called. What are they called? Where the, the man goes green so you can cross the light. I'm one of those lame runners that runs on the spot while I'm waiting for the lights. That was dinner. Yeah, it was good. It was delicious. We ordered some different things this time, so it was amazing. Had a few cocktails. Finished with an English breakfast tea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone that. That's it. Successful evening. See you tomorrow. Okay, what's up guys? Today it is Sunday and that's pretty much the end of the weekly life vlog. So yesterday we spent a really chilled, relaxing afternoon down by the beach here in Townsville. Obviously this time of the year in winter it's still quite warm, so it's between like 24 and 28, some days it gets to 30 still. And we spent an afternoon down the beach, the kids all their sand buckets down and play with the sand, building some sand castles all week. While we just sat there and watched and relaxed, it was actually a really cool afternoon and awesome just to chill out and spend some time with the family. It's been our bye week, so obviously we didn't play this week. We get three buys this season with 27 rounds. It's pretty crazy, but that's kind of just what the NRL does. They just add extra rounds. And obviously it is such a long season. So for us, had a really, really good week this week. Got my golf in, got my time with the family in, got my time with my wife. In. They're the things that I really wanted to uh, tick off the list for this week and really really appreciate you guys for checking out the vlog Plus I quickly wanted to touch on the RLPA and NRL situation that's going on right now So there's a link in the description below which has so many more important details with exactly what the players are after You guys should have a read of it because not all the major media outlets will run this stuff They kind of just build it up as the players being greedy asking for more money turning their backs against the fans, which is just completely false and has nothing to do with that. So you guys should get informed. The link is below. Make sure you have a quick read, get educated on it, and you guys will definitely, definitely understand as to why we are doing exactly what we're doing at the moment. Once again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been watching the vlogs. I really appreciate your support. And if you enjoy the channel, please make sure you do subscribe. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Let's go.